Hey, my beautiful people, welcome back for yet another video and a great week that we are going to start today with some great job opportunities. I wanted to bring you guys into the week with some phenomenal leads and get you guys ready as we walk into this new month to be able to secure these positions so that you can go into them before the holidays. So we are starting off with a really great Fortune 500 company, which is FedEx. They are a major logistics company that ships all different kind of things internationally now today i will be going over multiple roles and they will be tier level roles which means some roles may require more education and or experience and then the lower tier roles will require less experience and less education i'll also be going over the keywords that you're going to need to use within your resume for the jobs that we do go over today so make sure you do stay tuned to see all of the jobs so you can see which one better fits for you and then go in and apply so before i get into the fedex position that i have available for you guys i did want to go over some bonus positions okay that i do have and wanted to bring to you starting this week off really great and really fresh so the very first role i do have for you is with a company called sonova okay this is the bonus role i wanted to bring to you guys now this role is remote in the united states so you can be sitting anywhere it's just positioned in illinois okay this role is their customer support specialist role you'll be providing phone support and expertise to sonova customers and sonova is a swiss group and company that specializes in hearing care you'll be answering the phone and problem solving for people with any hearing devices and things like that on a regular basis some of the things they have here just in more detail is you will be answering about 60 to 80 inbound calls on a daily basis you'll support regional sales territory managers with administrative tasks you'll answer some billing questions order statuses back order management questions web services case management and customer account and contact maintenance questions you'll handle customer complaints and you'll work cross-functionally to ensure that customers have a really great experience while also meeting those kpis now the educational requirement that they have here is just having a high school diploma or equivalent like a ged if you do have some college even if you didn't finish college that is a plus it is not a requirement but it is a plus if you do have it they also have here just a minimum of one year of customer service experience and then two years is preferred if you do have two years under your belt that's a plus but you only really need a year now they are looking for you to have exceptional communication on the telephone be able to have really great empathy be an active listener be able to pay attention to detail and also collaborate really well in a team setting if you're strong with typing you have really great analytical skills and computer skills that's great and also being really strongly proficient in microsoft applications like the words the excel outlook those kinds of things if you do have any prior sales force experience that is also a plus now they do have here that you will need the high speed internet okay so keep that in mind when applying because this will be a remote position you are going to need that internet now this position is paying 13 dollars and 50 cents up to $18 an hour depending on your experience and location as always you can always negotiate way more money depending on your experience so keep that in mind when you do go into these interviews to negotiate yourself and negotiate your rate now they also do have here that you will be eligible for a 2.5 percent bonus and then you will also get the medical the dental the vision the health care savings account flexible spending accounts they do have a telehealth option you'll get a 401k with the company match pay life insurance and you can get supplemental insurances as well like short-term long-term disabilities accidental insurance they also do provide you legal and id theft assistance paid pto time and paid holidays and then they have an employee assistant program so if you are interested in this specific role this once again is the customer support specialist role with sonova now getting into some of the keywords that you do want to use within this specific job if you do have prior call center experience you know all about how call centers kind of are ran so you definitely want to put that in there i always tell you to make sure that you are using numbers so human resource representatives human resource personnel hiring managers recruiters i'm not going to lie to you we all like numbers when we see numbers on resumes we know that you are of a higher standard we understand that you know what you're doing right and you understand 
understand what we're kind of also looking for when we look at candidates resumes so with that being said you always if you can quantify any of your skills into numbers or kpi numbers sales numbers so instead of saying i increase sales right you want to say i increase sales by 30 percent i increase revenue by a hundred thousand dollars year over year those are the kind of things that you want to use so in this specific role the very first thing that points out to me is literally answering between 60 and 80 calls so if you were in a call center prior to this or you did handle calls prior to this even if you don't realize or remember how many calls you literally answered make an estimate it could have been 50 calls handle 50 calls a day assisted with x y and z you always want to also detail what you did so if it was assisted with call outs assisted with problem solving computer assistance walking through benefits whatever it is you want to also say that if you escalate it or if you were the next level of escalation you want to use that some of the other keywords that you would want to use if you do have prior experience in billing and answering billing questions or pricing questions why right, you would want to put that in there that's definitely straight from the description of the job other keywords that you definitely want to add is call center operations if that's something you have done before where you have worked in the call center customer focus a quick learner customer navigation right customer driven inquiries these are things that you definitely want to use when you're dealing with customer service roles so if you are interested in this customer support role definitely make sure you get over and review this to apply the next role that i do have for you is with the company called restaurant 365 so this company is a company that specializes in softwares to help restaurants streamline their back end processes so it helps them with all kinds of things from inventory to tracking employees to tracking revenue all kinds of things okay the role that i do have with them is their payroll and tax setup specialist it is a fully remote position it's full time and as we get down into more of what you'll be doing on a day-to-day -day within this specific role this role will be responsible for insurance client tax accounts are set up accurately and timely the role will work with clients as well as federal state and local agencies to collect or set up client tax accounts you will obtain and verify tax ids frequencies rates and account statuses you'll set up and close state and local tax accounts for clients you'll register for new tax accounts on behalf of new and existing clients and you'll also reconcile tax amounts for term clients and partners within the federal state and local jurisdictions this is definitely a payroll type of role if you do have prior payroll experience this would be a great opportunity now what they are looking for is that you do at least have one year of payroll tax filing experience you also can demonstrate knowledge of having understanding within the u.s local state and federal payroll tax laws regulations and compliance requirements if you do have experience using quickbooks that is a plus also being really great with attention to detail and having strong organizational and work priority skills if you do have prior knowledge of SAS software that's a plus also being really proficient within Microsoft Excel and tax and payroll systems and how they operate they are looking for you to also have really great written and verbal communication skills be able to maintain confidentiality meet and exceed strict deadlines while handling a high volume of clients now this role is paying $25 up to $31.25 per hour which is a really great rate of pay and then you also do get their standardized benefits with the comprehensive medical like your medical your dental your vision it's 100 paid for employees so you do not have to pay anything out of your paycheck the company pays it for you which if you don't know i completely love because a lot of companies do not do this you'll also get the 401k with the company match you'll get equity option within the company you'll get unlimited pto and company holidays and then they also do give a wellness initiative all right so this is a great opportunity if you do have prior payroll experience at least that one year of experience and we're going to get into more of the keywords that you want to use for this specific job so definitely the keywords that i would use is tax id verification tax frequencies tax rates management of client tax accounts if you do have prior payroll experience you definitely want to put that on there and then what systems you have payroll experience 
with. Whether that's paychecks, ADP, Gusto, whatever it is, you want to definitely highlight that on your resume. And then if you do have prior payroll tax experience, you want to also highlight that on your resume and show that you do have experience with certain jurisdictions, right? And then you can definitely use the federal, state, and local jurisdictions on your resume or federal, state, local, city tax laws, like recognizing, being familiar, understanding, extensive knowledge of federal, state, and local tax jurisdictional laws. That's something that you will want to put on your resume. And those are definitely keywords that are going to stand out. So if you are interested in this role, once again, this is the payroll and tax setup specialist role with Restaurant 365. Now, if you are in need of keywords and you really are trying to take the guesswork out of what keywords do I apply to my resume, I do have a keyword guide for you that has over 300 keywords in it for over 11 industries that will help you as you go through your resume speed up the timing of you having to revamp your resume because I literally provide you guys with over 300 keywords for multiple different industries. I don't want you guys wasting a whole bunch of time trying to figure out what should I put on my resume, what shouldn't I put on my resume, what part goes here, what keyword should I use in my industry. I have literally helped you with taking all of those questions away. So make sure if you are interested in being able to revamp your resume really quickly and have the appropriate keywords that you're going to need for your specific industry, Industry, check out the keyword guide. You can find it down in the description as well as the pinned comments. Head on over and check that guide out. Now, always remember as well with these jobs, I do post new videos on a weekly basis. So if you have not become a part of the family here on YouTube as of yet, make sure you definitely subscribe to the channel, turn that bell notification on and click all so you can be notified each and every time I drop new videos with brand new roles and you don't miss out on anything. I would love to have you a part of the family here on YouTube and we would not want you to miss out on some incredible opportunities because you did not get notified that a new video was live and that one video could be the video that changes your life when it comes to having a job and having a position in a really great company that really aligns with your values, what you're looking for currently pay-wise and really aligns with what you need in your lifestyle with having the freedom of being able able to work from home. Now, getting into the next role that I do have for you guys, this role is with a company called Grand Circle Travel. They are a travel company that also does cruises in different locations within the world. Now, this specific role is their travel support call center position. It is fully remote. They are hiring now to be able to get people into their next class, which is going to be starting on December the 4th, and it is completely remote. Now, the role is a traveler support call center remote role. And in this role, you will be responsible for providing excellent customer service and support to their travelers. Some of the main things that you will be doing is you'll be handling service calls and assisting customers with making reservation changes, educating them on tour itineraries, processing payments, and responding to any inquiries. You'll advise, book, and update airline reservations as necessary using a code based system. You'll deliver an excellent customer experience, communicate really well, achieve the monthly performance goals, and be able to work really well with a team. Now the qualifications they have here is three years of experience in a call center or working in customer service, and then three plus years of working in the travel industry is a plus, but you don't need it as long as you do have that customer service experience. And I'm telling you now, you can literally pull from even like experience and have customer service experience. However, if the three years you do feel is too much for you, definitely check out some of the previous roles as those roles had a lower level of experience needed. So definitely review those. Some of the other qualifications they have here is just being tech savvy, being able to multitask, being able to attain performance goals, having a positive attitude, being able to work various shifts, and internal travel work experience is a plus if you do have it. Now, in order for you to work from home, you must have hardwired internet. You cannot use a Wi-Fi box or a hotspot on your phone or anything like that. You will need a landline phone. Now, this position is remote, but it is remote within these specific states. So check these states out to see if they are within a location.
location that you're in. If not, you can check out the previous rules as they did not have that state specific requirement. The benefits that you do get with this role is going to be your 401k retirement savings account. With the company match, you'll get 50% discount on your travel with the company, a robust healthcare benefit plan with the medical, dental, vision, and flexible spending accounts. They have a strong PTO package starting with 16 days accrued or more each year. You get 11 paid holidays throughout the year, four weeks of paid training. You'll get company paid life insurance, paid short and long-term disability. And then you'll also get a discount on auto and renter's insurance. So they do offer really great benefits. This is within the travel industry, which is really, really great. If you are looking to try to get some discounts on travel, this would be a great opportunity for you. Now, I was able to get a roundabout of what this job is actually paying. And this specific one, the average of what this job is paying is about $56,000 annually, but they do have a range here anywhere between $45,000 to about $70,000, depending, of course, on your experience, how you do in the interview, and being able to negotiate really well. So it really is paying a really nice amount as well for it to be a work from home opportunity and for you to also get those travel benefits, all right? Now, some of the keywords that you do want to use for this specific role is travel expertise. You also do want to use reservation changes, reservation updates, payment processing, de-escalation resolution, right? Travel reservation updates. You also want to use education on tour itineraries, right? Or tour itinerary education, those kinds of things. And then some of the general keywords are like multitasking, strategic planning, organizational skills, problem solving. Those are general keywords that you definitely want to use on this specific rule, okay, within your resume when you go to refresh it or revamp it to apply. So once again, this is their travel support call center remote role with Grand Circle Travel. Now, getting into the FedEx role that I wanted to bring to you guys today, this is their workforce reporting and analyst lead role. It is within their human resources department. Here is the job ID. It is full-time and yes, it is remote. Y'all know I'm bringing you nothing but remote jobs, okay? Now, getting more into the logistics of what you'll be doing on the day-to-day, you'll be providing reporting insights and recommendation to management on key workforce trends and other people team functioning areas. You'll seek out and leverage the data sources related to workforce strategies and planning initiatives. You'll manage projects and lead internal initiatives for strategic workforce planning. You'll collaborate with multiple different leads and colleagues within the human resource department, business leaders, and other stakeholders. And you'll also maintain a positive mindset, be a really great team player, while in this role. Other skills that they do have here that are a plus if you do have them. You don't need them, but it is a plus if you have them. It's having strong analytical skills and being able to work with complex data sets. If you are proficient in Excel and really know how to do pivot tables, charting, VLOOKUPs, those kinds of things. If you have prior experience with Workday, which is a human resource information system, that's great. If you have prior experience with Power BI, I, that's great. If you have experience with SQL programming language like Python or R is a plus. If you can deliver presentations really well to inform business leaders of data points, that's great. Having really great communication skills. And also they have here, if you do have a PHR, which is a human resource certification or the senior PHR certification, that is a plus. Now the minimum requirements you do need a bachelor's degree in human resources, business administration, or related field. If you do have a master's degree, that's a plus, but it is not a requirement. If you don't have the degree, do not worry. Just check out the other roles, the bonus roles on this video. But I did want to bring this to anyone who is in the human resources field and you are looking to pivot. This is a really great opportunity with a Fortune 500 company that is paying really, really great salary. Now, what they are looking for 
is five plus years of being able to demonstrate organizational design within a company that includes operating modules, governance, and organizational structure design and role design within organizations. This position can be located anywhere in the U.S. They don't care. They just want you to be a great candidate and have the background and the education that they're looking for. They don't care where you're sitting. This role is fully remote. Now, they do have here for your application criteria, upload your most current resume in Microsoft Word or PDF format. And then they do have a job questionnaire that they will be asking you following this. Now, the compensation and salary for this role, you will be getting about $6,300 up to $9,900 monthly, which equates to anywhere between $77,000 annually up to about $118,000 annually. So of course, it all depends on your education, your experience, but you do have that great opportunity to be able to make some really great income working from home if you do have that background and experience that they're looking for in human resources. Now, some of the keywords that you definitely would want to use, if you do have the certifications, you would definitely want to highlight that on your resume. If you do have more extensive experience within Excel, like creating pivot tables, charting, those kinds of things, you want to add that. If you have any type of human resource information system knowledge, whether it's Workday, ADP, or any other ones, Paycheck, right? You want to also list those things. If you have Power BI experience, Python experience, SQL experience, those are the keywords that are going to be looking for. Now, some of the other ones you do want to use is people management, people insight, people reporting, workforce data sourcing reporting, workforce planning initiatives. Those are all the different keywords that you definitely will want to use within this specific job. Now, once again, do not forget, I do have that keyword guide down in the description box for you that will help you take out all of the guesswork of which keywords to use on these resumes. Like I said before, the keyword guide does have over 300 keywords in over 11 industries to help you be able to literally change out your resume and update your resume as quickly as possible and be able to implement those keywords quickly into your resume without having to figure out which one should I use. I've taken out all of the guesswork for you. So if you are interested in that, you can definitely find it in the description box as well as the pinned comments. Now, if none of these roles on this video are Line with you and where you want to go in your career, definitely make sure you check out previous videos that have been posted to see if any of those job leads in those videos better align with what you're looking for. You can always as well hit me up in the comments and let me know what kind of jobs you're looking for. And that way I can see if I can definitely put up some leads for the specific lines of business and fields that you're looking in. In addition to that, if you have not become a part of the family by subscribing to the channel, make Make sure you do so now. Make sure you subscribe, turn that bell notification on and click all so you can be notified every single time I drop brand new videos with brand new roles and you don't miss out on anything. We would love to have you a part of the family here on YouTube. I love, 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 love you guys and love this community. I would love to have you and would hate to miss you. So make sure you do subscribe so you don't miss out on a great opportunity. I have literally gotten comments like this role is no longer available and it was perfect for my skills, literally because they were not subscribed and did not get that notification when the role dropped. So make sure that does not happen to you and make sure you not only are subscribed, but you do turn that bell notification on. Now, if you are entry level, I do have a free resource down in the description box for all of my entry level folks, which is my entry level job title list. It is literally a list of job titles that will help you tremendously be able to point out and hone in on on jobs that are screaming at entry level job seekers and that are literally targeted towards you guys. So it helps you take out all the guesswork and be able to literally sift through jobs and understand what jobs are looking for more entry level job seekers so you can spend more time applying to those jobs and not waste
wasting your time going through job descriptions just to find out that it's requiring a whole bunch of experience. We do not want that to happen to you. So make sure you definitely get that free resource. It is going to help you tremendously. You can find that down in the description box. Until next time, make sure you continue to thrive and you continue to reach for those good old career goals. I will see you guys in the very next one. Until next time, make sure you have a fabulous life. Bye. Bye.